Hey, we're Matt and Dan. And we're road tripping across Costa Rica with Nomad America. In this first episode, we pick up a Nomad America troopie and begin our road trip around the Nicoya Peninsula, driving from Alajuela to Playa Carrillo and then to Playa Coyote. Could not be happier. Rooftop tent, nice awning. It's a four wheel drive, it's fantastic, and I'm stoked. Obviously, We've come across a lot of people with troopies in the past, so to be able to drive on ourselves is going to be epic. And we're in Costa Rica, so this is just going to be so much fun. And thanks to Dennis for helping us this morning. He came and picked us up from our accommodation and could not be a nicer guy. Took us through all the paperwork and yeah, told us you know a few uh, tips as well for driving around here. So just have, thanks to you, mate. Here we go. It's actually just even better than we imagined and planned. We are so thankful to Nomad America. They picked us up this morning. They had it all set up when we got there. It's so well stocked up. It's just an absolute dream. They've thought of everything and we are so excited. We just went to the supermarket and now we're headed down the highway. We're headed west, towards the west coast. So stoked. <laughs> we got the lunch special, which didn't really know what to expect, and it came out and it was an absolute mountain of food. Neither of us could finish it. And I think for each of us, it was like two or three pounds, so like five Aussie bucks for a lot of food. Yeah. And it was tasty. where we will be staying tonight and just parking up right next to the beach is just beautiful it's been a long day like we woke up so early and it's been a lot of driving naturally everything always takes longer than what the maps say so we're just gonna have a beer now and hopefully there's a sunset there's a bit of cloud rolling in over the hills but we will see Cheers. <laughs>
We just this pulled place. up to a better spot, didn't we? Yeah, this place is nice. Five or six palm trees deep. This is the line set in palm trees, as this is how far we can go. So we'll set up our roof tent facing that way and fall asleep to the sound of the ocean tonight. So it doesn't get better than that. Oh, and Minus some birds. maybe that little bird. But no coconuts are gonna fall on us. Ah, uh, no, we'll be sweet. More people die from coconuts falling on their heads than sharks every year. Fun fact. so glad we moved. This campsite is so much better. Like all of these palm trees, so a lot more space. Stunning. Morning coffee. Morning. <laughs> oh, fresh bag of coffee always smells so nice. And this is like some local Costa Rican coffee that we found yesterday. So now we're going to use this thing that Dennis from Nomad America showed us. It's like how the locals have their coffee. So you just put, because there's two of us, we're going to put two spoons. And then you just pour the hot water through slowly. Yeah, the sun rose at 5.20 and the view outside of our tent was so good that we just had to get up and catch the sunrise. Now just enjoying this amazing coffee, it's so good. Pura Vida. <laughs> Plastic straws, bottle tops, netting. So we just had a lovely few hours in Playa Samara. We went for breakfast and went for a little explore around the town. We're now headed off-roading, which is fun. Gonna go reach Playa Coyote, hopefully. Hopefully the rivers are passable. The rain has been pretty light recently, so we're hoping it will be okay. Um, we might just check with some locals before crossing the river. Better than in Rio? <laughs> yeah, less, less, less worrying, that's for sure. <laughs> and we can go a bit faster. Um, but yeah, if this troop here is hand 
handling it like a champ. Costa Rican crafty papagayo. Is it? A tropical IPA. That's nice. Oh, I wish we'd bought more. Wow. Wow. For yeah, a tropical treat, setting. Treating the local beer is going to be a bit difficult. Yeah. So it's been a bit of a stormy afternoon, it hasn't rained yet, but we have been just parked up here chilling, like reading our books, it's actually been really nice and because it hasn't been too hot, but this camp spot is just insane. Can't wait for it to be like beautiful blue skies tomorrow morning. Glad we came here, it took a while to find a good spot because you just have to go down like public access roads amongst private properties. But this one's really good because there's no buildings either side. We're gonna make some tacos and then probably just go to bed really early once it gets dark. What's for dinner? Tacos. Um, not our most fancy, but a good effort, I think. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Tacos, very nicely done. And could you ask for a better view? <laughs> Seriously, couldn't rate tacos enough for when you're on the road or when you're camping. It's 
slept a lot better last night. There was one huge rainstorm, it was such heavy rain. But other than that, I slept all the way through. Um, some flies managed to get into our tent. Um, other than that, all good. Packed up, no. bringing our rubbish and beach litter with us. On to the next adventure. Woo! Thanks so much for watching our first video from Costa Rica. Remember when we were confused about why we hadn't crossed any big rivers yet? Or we'll tune in next time for when we actually cross the crocodile infested Rio Bongo and Rio Arrio on our way to Santa Teresa, and of course, for many more adventures around the beautiful Nicoya Peninsula.